Uh, hello all. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Uh, I know it's been a bit, so I do appreciate all the uh, views, whichever uh, happens, you know, one way or the other. <laughs> I know I'm, I'm super rusty because I haven't been on YouTube or a live chat in since December uh, with the Toddcast. Uh, for those who normally like wondered what happened to me with my live discussions on Facebook and everything, um, I don't know if it's the algorithm or the way they designed Facebook. Uh, I can't go live on Facebook anymore. Um, so I started on YouTube last year, and then I got asked to do uh, my the Toddcast, which is named after uh, the owner of the business that I currently work for, uh, Todd uh, McDevitt in New Dimension Comics, who is my current employer. So um, I'm doing this because we haven't done a Toddcast in uh, two months now. Uh, we may start doing it in March, uh, but I'm going to try to do this on my own. So I do appreciate those who will follow, like, share, and subscribe, the whole nine yards that everybody in YouTube always says. And uh, for those who don't know who I am, my name is Justin. Uh, I am a comic enthusiast, a pop culture enthusiast, an anime enthusiast. Uh, I have so many hobbies, it's hard to keep track of them all. Uh, but um, I know, uh, you know, what do you need another nerdy dude uh, talking about it? Um, I get it, understand it. Uh, but I'm doing this because I kind of enjoy it uh, and I miss doing it. The Toddcast, so I'm going to do this and the Toddcast. Uh, Toddcast is usually on Thursday nights, so and that's usually mm, I want to say eight o'clock, uh, seven to eight o'clock, uh, nine. Excuse me, nine o'clock at the latest. So I do hope that uh, for those who are watching now. Uh, if you're wanting more of my opinions or whatnot, because uh, we get into details about uh, comic books, pop culture, and everything. Not that I don't do it here, uh, but this is more my uh, personal stuff, uh, what I've like, bought, what I've received, uh, little things here and there, uh, what's going on in my life in general, that type of deal. It's a little bit more personal, whereas the Toddcast is a little bit more uh, a guest or uh, what the ongoings with the current company, which uh, we are going to be, New Dimensions is going to be in Happy Valley, uh, aka Penn State University for a comic show. Um, I think it's Saturday and Sunday. So uh, please come out. Uh, it should be a good time. Uh, so first con of the year for us uh, of that size so far. Uh, we are also doing Archon in June. And again, tune into the Toddcast. We will totally talk about all that stuff. Uh, but uh, New Year uh, 2022 is coming gone. And I know so much has happened um, around the world. Uh, all that happy jazz, which I'm sure everybody's kind of sick about it. I'm sick of it because... I got addicted to watching tons of TikToks myself, but uh, I'm not going to talk about that stuff. This is going to be more fun stuff, more stuff that's distraction from what's going on in the real world, hopefully. <laughs> uh, but um, I'm going to start off uh, just saying how, what my goals are for this current year of 2023. Um, it's not going to be a lot just for the fact of um, things have slowed down on the economy side. Um, things are getting better as far as prices of books. Um, for those who are still trying to charge what you charged in 2020, uh, I hope you guys will learn that you're not going to get that price anymore 
uh, unless the person is super well off. Um, a lot of prices have gone down, which is a good thing for collectors because um, we have less to spend now on uh, items because the price of everything's going up. Um, well, it's stabilizing, I should say, but still not as much. We're not getting that extra government money. Um, but hey, that so is life. But if you're are you a good collector in general, uh, you will find a way. Like I'm working more. Uh, I, I for those who follow me, uh, it's, you can find me on Facebook. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Upton, I don't know what that means, but cool. Um, but I'm selling on whatnot. It's all on the, uh, I'm not one of those hardcore people on whatnot. I'm probably going to do whatnot once a month, uh, with, uh, collectibles that I don't, that I not displaying, uh, maybe stuff I find at shows that I, you know, I may flip for a couple extra bucks. Uh, I don't do it for like, I'm going to make tons of money. I, I'm not that kind of person. Um, but I may want to, hey, I need new tires. So I got to sell some stuff. Uh, but it's going to be once a month. I didn't do anything in January because January we were slammed. Uh February is almost over, so uh, I may try to squeeze a February whatnot in. I haven't made up my mind yet. Uh, if not, I will do it in the very beginning of March. And uh, I do have a pile of books here. I have set like I have sets. I have dollar books. I have some nice little variants and even a slab or two. Um, nothing spectacular. Nothing super key. I'm not going to go that route because um, not everybody has the time to do that. And not everybody does that constantly. I, I don't have the time. Uh, I have, I have a life. I have things to take care of in my own right. Um, but um, so far it, I also kind of want to show you guys a little bit of what's going on in 20, what I've got to the tail end of 2022 and what I've gotten so far in the very beginning of 2023. Um, after all, that's why I kind of made my discussions and topics is to show off a little bit of stuff that I've gotten from shows or I've gotten as gifts or, you know, I, it's little things here and there. Um, some stuff I've just find. So uh, first things first, I don't know. If I've talked about it, I am a bit of a wrestling person. Um, not as hardcore as I used to be when I was younger. Uh, I think it's more the the wrestlers you attach on to. And then, of course, uh, for those who know, I am a hardcore Undertaker fan. Uh, I love the dude to death. Um, well, love the character to death. Uh, although I hear the person, he is an actual really awesome person. Sorry about that. Um, but he is retired, like so he's not really wrestling anymore. Uh, I, I am a big fan of Finn Balor. I love the whole Judgment Day shtick. I'm cool with it. And I do watch, like, I'll watch pay-per-view. I'll watch things here and there. But I'm not as hardcore as I was, say, in the Attitude Era when everybody was watching all the time. Stone Cold, The Rock, their primes, all that stuff. Uh, but there is one wrestler that I love him. Um, not so much because he's a wrestler, but because his persona is beyond wrestling. And he is also a fellow collector. And he, he's also a fellow YouTuber. He is awesome. Um, I'm Maybe if I get we get big enough or we get him to come on the show, like on uh, – the Todd cast, or I would ask him to do it on here personally. That would be awesome. Um, but um, his name is, well, his professional name is Dan Housen. And I've recently gotten, I don't know if those who collect 
wrestling figures uh, know of a, the heels and faces line from uh, Zombie Toys. Um, and I just received it this year, finally. Uh, this was, I bought this, what was it, 2020, I think? 2019, late 2019, early 2020. Um, he broke his leg in a match. And he didn't have enough money. Uh, so the owner of the uh, zombie sailor, zombie sailor toys, that's it. I will try to get my mind a little bit better here, guys. This is my first broadcast in like months. So I am super rusty. So please be forgiven, forgiving here. Uh, but uh, he uh, did this and all the proceeds of this toy basically went to Dan House. Uh, for his leg, for the surgery, because apparently it was pretty bad by the looks of the x-rays and everything. Uh, but I've met Dan Housen at shows. Um, I go to the Toy Ohio, and uh, it's a big toy show in Ohio. Uh, he's usually there every year. Him and uh, Ethan, all ego page, uh, both wrestlers for AEW, not WWE. Um, but I give AEW a chance because... They have guys like this who are, they may be heels or whatever, but they are awesome people. They are awesome toy collectors and they make really good YouTube content. So any chance I'm going to, you know, slide a couple bucks their way to help the, you know, help them with their thing. Although they make way more money than I do. Uh, but this was to help pay for his leg. And this finally came in. This just came to anybody who ordered this. Uh, just came this year. So I, this is one of my new 2023, uh, which is, which this figure is awesome. Uh, for those who don't know, it is very Hasbro eighties, Hasbro ish, 90, early nineties, uh, Hasbro ish, uh, which is like, I think a lot of wrestling figure guys is, um, especially the older generation. This was the pinnacle of wrestling figures, uh, comparative to today's where it's more realistic and articulated. Uh, but these were at the time really cool. Um, and I was going to say, this looks exactly like it has all his tattoos, uh, has his little cape, uh, even came with like his little accessories, uh, came with like a bag of teeth. That's part of his steel, the whole nine yards. I loved it. It was fun. Uh, but I'm glad I got this. It's cool. Um, I made a purchase at the end of 2022. Uh, this was basically a Christmas gift to myself. Um, and I am a big X-Men fan. Uh, but I, certain things I want from the X-Men, that, that may be one of my goals for this year, is to get uh, X-Men's, like, 100 through 300, I think is what I want. I think I want 100 to 200 most, but if I get to 300, um, and I'm on my way, I've gotten a few keys over the last couple of years here and there. Uh, but this one is not in that, uh, co in that era, but it is a featured, uh, villain, uh, that most X-Men fans are very familiar familiar with um but very underrated i think um but i recently got this this is i'm trying to uh, trying to balance it so it's the light does not get it uh this is x-men number 14 uh, i know it's backwards for those who are looking at it um but this is the first appearance of the sentinels um and uh, always a villain for all X-Men. So this is the first appearance of uh, the Sentinels uh, in the X-Men comics, and they stood the test of time. They're still around today. Uh, still a big pain for all X-Men. So um, I'm glad I got it. I got it for a nice deal. Uh, it's in really nice condition. I want to say this is three, a three, three, uh, three, a three, five. I want to say, as far as grade goes, uh, it's a really nice display copy. 
like the display in the front. I looked through it. Uh, the pages are excellent. The back's good. Um, I wouldn't mind getting a press and clean just to see if I could bring out, get some of this dirt off, but uh, that's for a later time. That's going to be one of my goals also is to take care of the books that I have instead of purchasing more books is probably cleaning the, getting them pressed and clean proper. Um, I have, I found the guy over the uh, COVID era that does a really nice clean and press. Uh, so I was really happy with it, but um, yeah, I, I'm really happy. This is definitely one of a big, this was a key that I wasn't looking for, but happened to fall in my lap when I saw it. So sometimes that happens. I think that's what the way I'm going to do the year is. I'm not really going to be looking for anything, but if I see something that catches my eye and it's within the price range of not going broke and not hurting as far as bills go, I will definitely think about stuff like this. And uh, this one is a recent purchase. Now, I find a lot of, excuse me again, I find a lot of uh, books and items uh, doing what I do, um, which I think you guys probably know by now, but I will refresh your memory. Um, I work for New Dimensions, not only the con scene and not only doing the podcast, but uh, I help run, or well, I basically run the Amazon side of the company. And it's a lot of work, uh, as I am a one man band on this. Um, now, I'm not going to get into details on what goes through it, that you guys will be bored out of your mind on that part. Um, but you do tend to find some really cool out of print books or books that you're like, I remember when it came out. I remember this, that, and the other, and not just comics or graphic novels, uh, but there are uh, regular books as well that will pique your interest. Uh, I get a lot of sci-fi stuff, a lot of Doctor Who, a lot of Star Wars, a lot of Star Trek, which all fascinating. That's your pop culture uh, go-to. Awesome. I, I have nothing against it. I, I like a little bit of it all, to be honest. I've tr I've watched a little bit of everything, so I cannot diss on one thing or the other. D do you guys get a little bit more passionate than you should? Definitely. But that happens with all fandom. That's why they call it fanati fanatism. Bah. But that's why we're fanatics. There we go. There. That's better. Uh, but one of my thing. One of my fandoms, um, and I know it's not as popular as it was, its heyday was probably, I want to say late 2000s, like 2000, no, not even a little bit, probably before then, it was probably two, mid 2000s, so 2005, 2006, um, World of Warcraft, I, which I actually still play, actually. I've actually start. I've been playing the current game, uh, I still I enjoy it. I have a nice guild. I don't raid hardcore or anything. I'm not, I don't do that anymore. I just don't have the time, but I do enjoy getting on and playing and having a good time. Uh, but uh, I do like certain things. Blizzard always puts out, used to put out some really, well, they still do. I can't say used to. Uh, they put out some really interesting collectors, pieces, um, books, maps, uh, collector boxes for games, uh, all that kind of thing. But uh, it's, it's funny when you find things and you know, people are like, Oh, I remember when I played when I was a kid or what, well, I still play. Like I took hiatus. Everybody takes a hiatus from Warcraft. Very few people that I know are like, Oh, I've played from day one and never stopped. You do tend, you do take a break for a little bit, and I did take a break for a little bit, um, but I've always been a fan, and I always, I don't go overboard with buying Warcraft stuff. I actually got rid of a lot of 
Warcraft things that I used to have. I used to have the pop figures. Uh, I think I had a statue or two. Uh, I had the action figures uh, when they had the action figures, which I wish I didn't get rid of them because they are going for some decent money. Uh, but can't look back. It happened. It's at the time. I'm like, I need room for other things. As you can see behind me, uh, this is my, for those who haven't seen it on Facebook, I did take individual pictures of what's going on in the back here. I decided to kind of show off a little bit of the graphic novels, uh, special DVD collections of comics, uh, stuff like that. As you guys can see here, I'm trying to eh, get out of the way. I'm showing off more uh, statues, action figures of my favorite versions of Wolverine and Hulk. Uh, as you can see, I have a little bit of a little small DC collection up there. Um, stuff like that. I, I figured like, why not? I have them in boxes. I might as well pop them out. Um, that kind of deal. Uh, but with Warcraft, it's always different because normally it's books. I had like, I read all their little uh, books up to certain degrees uh, but I found this because this was an interesting book. Uh, this is the World of Warcraft. Now, this is original World of Warcraft. This was the first. Um, this is when the game started. Uh, so this is the Atlas, which is funny. I mean, who buys Atlases anymore? Uh, well, obviously I do. Uh, but I got this for a nice price um, with my company discount and everything. Um, it's in solid shape. Um, the reason I got it is because it shows off a lot of old Azeroth of what um, Ogamar used to look like before they changed it up. And it's, it's cool. Um, it's just a cheesy little thing for vi uh, video game era. My little, my, my gamer stuff that I'm into you know, it, it's little things here and there, um, but I got it. It's a nice little 2023 book. Um, as far as comics and stuff that I've bought this year so far, excuse me, guys. Uh, there's certain series that I follow. Uh, if you want that info, that stuff is going to be on the Toddcast because I will do, we do reviews of weekly comics that we're currently reading. Um, but since I haven't done anything in two months, uh, I might as well tell you guys some of the stuff I'm currently reading right now. Um, now, some of the stuff is from last year into this year, uh, but if this year is going to be more, I'm going to be a little tighter with things, but I'm also going to try to read and discover other books uh, other than just Marvel and DC. Um, but so far uh, this year, I have picked, well, last year coming into this year, it's going to be a lot of the late 2022 into current 2023 era. So, uh, uh, so far, uh, DC, I have, they've started a new uh, Justice uh, Society. And that's one of those, um, DC things I get into basically because I'm a big Dr. Fate fan. If you can't tell, um, Dr. Fate's always been part of that superhero team. Um, and it's not the justice league, but this is justice league of society. Uh, justice society, I should say. Um, and they are, they showed up on the black Adam, uh, film, which again, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, I was, but Dr. Fate definitely stole the show. It was definitely the best part of the show. Sorry, Dwayne. <laughs> I'm just going to go that route. Um, but I'm reading that, which is the, but issue two just came out last week at last week. So there you go. Uh, currently reading uh, Sins of Sinister, which is X-Men. Uh, there are three parts, uh, so I'm reading that. Uh, I'm reading also Marvel's Joe Fixit, which is uh, the, if you guys don't know, he's the Greyhawk that is dressed like a gangster. Um, 
And so far, the first two uh, issues have been awesome. And what was it? Issue one was December of 2022. The second uh, issue just came out not too long ago. So cool. Uh, what else am I reading? I'm still reading Grimm from Boom Studios. Uh, still really good. I love the... Uh, I did a review on Grimm. Again, that's on the podcast. A lot of the stuff that I'm going to reference is going to be on the podcast. So uh, when we start that back up, I will, you know, you guys can tune in there. And, you know, hopefully you guys who watch me will come over and watch Todd because the podcast, uh, because me, uh, my boss, John, and then a fellow coworker, uh, Tim, uh, we we get in pretty good discussions about pop culture and what's going on. Um, what's happened so far in 2033? Well, what else am I reading? I should say, um, I think it's all that I'm reading currently. Oh no. Uh, gargoyles, uh, for those Disney gargoyle fans out there, uh, definitely one of my favorite all time cartoons, uh, when I was younger, even though I was probably a little bit older, I still enjoyed watching it because it was very mature for its time. It was ahead of its time. Uh, they brought that back as a comic. So I just got the, uh, was it, vol uh, issue three just came out. Uh, again, that's one of those books that came toward the end of 2022 into this year current. So I'm going to see where it goes. Uh, enjoying it so far, though. So. And it picks up right like off with from the uh, old comics that Marvel did when the uh, when they were in their heyday back in the day. But for those nostalgic for stuff like that, that's going to be in there. Um, what else? Pardon me, guys. It's been a while since I'm trying to go through everything that I've purchased. There is a new Planet Hulk. Um, I'm still reading regular Hulk and Thor. Um, those are ongoing and those have been around for a bit, but it's, they're both pretty good. So I can't complain on either one. Well, Hulk a little bit less than Thor, but Hey, it's, I'm going to read them, but the planet Hulk is really cool. Um, set thousands of years into the future. Um, everybody who's been a Hulk is like involved in this. So, um, for those big Hulk fans, uh, definitely one of those books. I would suggest you like read it. I think it's on issue three. Again, one of those ones that started late in 2022 and continuing in here. Um, I think that's it. Like everything that's in my head that I'm thinking of so far as those. Uh, now, uh, what I've been kind of watching as far as pop culture and everything, I did see the Ant-Man movie. Uh, Again, I I think people are more about the whole critic thing and Marvel movies and everything. Look, I when I was a kid, I wished we'd had stuff like this. Um, now that I'm an adult and I have it, I see a lot of people complaining um, because they were around when the first Iron Man came out when they were kids and now they're adults and they're like, well, this isn't as good as a... I was an adult when that first Iron Man came out. So as an older adult now, uh, I'm still appreciating what's coming out. Um, but a lot of it, guys, I have to tell you, it, they take a lot from the comics. So if you don't know these characters from the comics or you just get, you don't know what's going on, my suggestion is read the comics first um, or at least uh, read a couple issues. Like there's what the Kent, the Marvel online app that you can read the books. Um, you, you could always look up stuff to Google, find out the character, read the wiki about it. <laughs> if you want to do that, it's all good. Um, but the Ant-Man and Wasp movie, uh, this newest one, I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. I thought it was better than the, honestly, it was the better than the last two. Um, but I've never, I've always been an Ant-Man fan. Um, for those who don't see up above there, 
I'm an Ant-Man fan as well. So um, as someone who is uh, a fan of Ant-Man, I, I don't mind it. Um, again, they always change stuff because it's Hollywood. They have to make it make sense for everybody, not just people who are reading the books. Uh, hopefully the movies will let you guys read books and things will work out that way. If you get my drift, I hope I'm making sense and not just blabbing. Uh, but I thought it was good. Uh, go see it for yourself. Don't worry about the stupid Rotten Tomato critic thing. Uh, it's awful. Don't do it. It's not worth your, you know, don't, I don't take stock in Rotten Tomatoes because they never like any of the movies that I like half the time. So, <laughs> and I honestly think critics are sick of Marvel and DC movies. So uh, my th advice is this is go see what you want to see and then put your two cents in and go, Hey, oh, yeah, I enjoyed it. It wasn't the best thing ever, but it was by far not as bad as the critics are saying not anywhere near it. And I know there's some guys here on YouTube. I've seen some of the complaints and I just kind of shoot my head and be like, well, you obviously are not, you may be a comic guy, but you're taking it too far. You have to find that happy medium of it's not going to be completely comic accurate, but there are a lot of take a lot of pieces that they grab from the comics and go, we can use this. This can be part of it. And I think that's, there's always that balance. And I wish people would kind of get that. Again, guys, um, I'm not going to review it, review it, because I think we'll probably do that in the Toddcast. Uh, but in my two cents, that's what I like. Uh, I just got done on, uh, for those who are D&D &D people, um, the uh, animated show Vox Machina the season two just came out I uh, finished watching it really good guys uh, for those who are into Dungeons and Dragons especially the last few years uh, or Critical Role you will love the Vox Machina because it is Critical Role it's just animated universe and it is if you saw the first season you will enjoy the second season just as much uh, that's my two cents on that um I'm waiting for the first Marvel show. I think it's coming out here soon. Uh, I have watched the, or I'm going to watch the Bad Batch on Disney Plus. I enjoy that. It's probably one of my favorite Star Wars, newer Star Wars thing, which actually the new Mandalorian season's coming out as well. So keep an eye out for that. I think that happens at the beginning of March, if I'm not mistaken. So um, again, guys. I hope this kind of gets it back into the groove. I'm going to try to set this in about a half hour um, to 35 minutes. So please uh, follow me. Uh, I'm under uh, Justin Comp or Doc Oz. Uh, Doc Oz is my tag name in all my video game stuff. So if you see Doc Oz, Oz are, it probably is me. <laughs> so, um, Find me on the socials. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Snap. Yes, I'm on Snap. Um, I don't do everything all. I am also on TikTok, but I don't do a ton of TikTok stuff, but I am on there. So I may try to finagle some TikTok stuff, but I am going to get advice from people who do TikTok uh, on a little bit of regular maybe i'll just do tiktok shorts stuff like that more goofy stuff um but i think that's it guys so thank you for uh joining me in my new in the my first show of 2023 uh i will try to stay as committed as i can with this uh i can't guarantee it's going to be it's probably going to try to do this at least once a week gonna try uh, if not once a week, at least do like a once a month deal. I will try my best. Uh, but other than that, guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for coming back and watching me. And we'll see you guys later.